Mm, this fresh wood smells so good. Guys, today I want to share with you just a few things that I did today, just today, that saves me saved me a ton of money or will save me a ton of money in the future or made me some money so and I have to say I did not really spend any money except for gas going to work that's it didn't even buy gas I just had to spend it by driving so no money spent today but lots of money saved as you will see later in the video so here's an example I want to show you guys I sold a couple of books on eBay. I'm just selling all the things my kids don't need, like um, Gabby used up this for her fourth grade. She doesn't need it anymore. And I sold it on eBay. And because I'm too cheap to spend money on envelopes, but I still want to have a decent, sturdy envelope, I just made this out of a regular shopping bag. So I cut up, oh, I shouldn't may do this uh show you this before see where it's like holding i just cut up the top part out of it and just i'm gonna attach it to here so and on the other side which is a nicer side i'm gonna um write the um, address and stuff so yeah and i just earned like 4.99 for these books uh which is not much considering the time it takes to list it and then ship it and all that and I charge them for whatever it cost me to ship it, yes. But it's still something instead of just like giving it to somebody for free. So here it is, a little bit too heavy. I hope I charge them enough shipping. And today we also got all of this firewood for absolutely free. It only costed us our work to go and get it. We had to go four times, this is four truckloads of stuff and they're mostly the redwood and oak which uh, the kind of wood that you would need less of the wood to get more heat they good I got a good workout loading these into truck and then unloading them from the truck on to here so and they're heavy some of them probably like 80 pounds because I know because 75 pounds is the goat feet that I usually bring and I can carry it with no problem but these some of them super heavy but it's so worth it because it's gonna save us well this is about half of the wood we need for the winter so it's gonna this is probably like $500 of savings in um, the heating bill so for just like maybe three hours of work well two people me and my son um, plus gonna take us about half a day to split it and put it away so it's still more than I can make per hour at work way more mmm this fresh wood smells so good see are you trying to smell it too oh she was she just noticed some noise in there <laughs> he's trying to smell it too <laughs> what's that new smell what's that new smell yeah Smells really good. <laughs> Dogs are smelling it. <laughs> oh, you guys are so funny. Yeah, yeah, you're so funny and you're cute. Yeah. So, yesterday I cut off a bunch of branches from the grapes. Those are the extra ones that don't have any grapes on them. And my goat's been enjoying it. So, this saves me some money on feed actually a lot of money like I cut lots of branches yesterday so they've been eating on it yesterday and all day today and probably all the way till tomorrow mornings while while they still do get a little bit of uh, grain feed but just because she's in milk if she wouldn't be in milk I wouldn't have to give her any grain feed but because I milk her she does need some grains so but I had to give her a lot less like she was not as hungry for the feed when I was milking her so this saves me some money and these branches I would have to throw them anyways and she's enjoying them a lot Ooh, she really loves it Your 
oranges. She's so busy. <laughs> honey, her name's Honey. And this is Darcy. Hi, Darcy. She always wants to be with me, right? Here we're getting a ton of plums, like a ton. I don't know how we're gonna eat them all, so I'm gonna freeze some. We're also gonna have peaches, which are not ripe yet, but the plums are mostly, yeah, most of them are ripe. Yeah, but don't eat too many plums all at once. I might not have that much experience in life because I'm not that old yet, but what I learned is that you cannot really depend on your paycheck too much or the economy economy in general because the economy might go up or down or whatever but if you can learn how to get grow your own food um, heat your house for free and uh, you know just supply most of your needs because you can do things yourself because stuff happens like you can lose your job you can get disabled and that's too much noise um, you, can, you know all the stuff can happen and all of a sudden you can't make as much money as you used to or like right now my husband can't work and even though I work more than I ever did in my life and I still don't make as much as he was making you know so but we living pretty much okay because um, we can get a lot of stuff that people pay money for for free by growing it yourself we get free eggs from our chickens we get milk from our goat we get some fruits from the garden we we heat our house with free wood that we can find that people are just getting rid of and if we're willing to put work into it we'll get it free thank you guys for watching i hope this will inspire you to save some money and be more self-sufficient without relying too much on your paycheck or you know because the paychecks is something that's not guaranteed or predictable too much but if you know how to survive and live good actually in tough situation I mean you'll always be okay mm -hmm.